What's going on guys? This is me Mehdi Shakil and you are watching SST tutorial. So guys in this video I'm going to show you that how you can install and run Ubuntu Linux operating system on your Windows 11 computer using the Hyper-V manager. So further ado let's get started. But before that if you need to this channel then please do subscribe to this YouTube channel and if you have already subscribed then thank you so much. Okay guys now you can see my computer screen. Now first of all what you need to do you have to enable the hypervisor and the virtual machine platform on your Windows 11 computer. To do that, click on start and search for turn Windows feature on and off this option. Then click on it. Then from all of this option, check this hyperview option. Then scroll down and also make sure to select these two options, virtual machine platform and Windows hypervisor platform. Then click on OK and your computer will restart. I had already enabled it, so I'm not going to do it again. Now after that, click on start and search for a Hyper V and here you will get the Hyper V manager and here you can see we get another option called Hyper V Quick Create. Click on it and from here, by default, you can install all of this operating system on your hypervisor from here. If you have any hypervisor machine locally, you can select the local installation option, then select the virtual hard disk. For this video tutorial, I am going to install the Ubuntu 22.04 LTS on Windows hypervisor. Here you can see all the detail about this machine. You can click on more option if you want to rename it and select the switch. By default, I am going to keep it default switch so that I can get the internet connection into this Ubuntu 22.04 LTS virtual machine. Now after selecting your virtual machine, click on create virtual machine. And now it's going to start downloading the required files to install the Ubuntu operating system on your Windows 11 computer using the Hyper-V virtual machine. It's going to download all the files. So it will take some time. So you have to wait until the downloading has been completed. Okay guys. Now when the downloading has been completed, you will get this screen. Here you will get two button, connect or edit setting. So click on connect and it will open up the Ubuntu virtual machine like this. Now to start it or turn it on, click on this start button and here you can see the Ubuntu operating system running on your hypervisor. Now from here, select your language, then click on continue. Then select your keyboard layout, then continue. Now select your location, then click on continue. Now here you need to create an user account for your Ubuntu machine. Here I am going to type my username, Mehdi Shakil. Then here I am going to type my password, then click on continue. Now it will start installing the Ubuntu operating system as a virtual machine on this hypervisor. It's going to take some time to get installed, so you have to wait until the installation has been completed. Now after the installation, you will get this screen. Now from here, you need to type your username, in my case, Mehdi Shakil. Then you need to type the password, whatever you said during the installation. Here I'm going to type my password. Then click on OK. And guys, here you can see, now I am running the Ubuntu 22.04 LTS version as a virtual machine using the hypervisor on my Windows 11 computer. So guys, like this, you can easily install and run any virtual machine on your Windows 11 computer using the default software called hypervisor of Windows 11. So guys, that's all for today. I hope you like this video. If you really like this video and enjoyed this video, then please give it a big thumbs up and share this video with friends. And guys, if you're new to this channel, then please do subscribe to this YouTube channel and don't forget to press the bell icon to get all the latest upcoming video tutorial notification. I'm Mehdi Shakil, you're watching your tech tutorial and I'm signing out.